Hello, my cookies. Welcome. Welcome to Russell Cooks. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today, I have a Turkish inspired bulgur soup. So this uses a couple different types of mint. We're going to be using dry and fresh. We're going to be using bulgur, which is essentially a cracked wheat. Uh, I like to compare it to couscous. Um, really quick cooking. You can absolutely make it vegetarian. Use veg stock or even water for some of it. Um, but I am using chicken stock because I think uh, it really carries through on the flavor. I love this soup. It is good hot. It is good cold. It'll warm you from the inside out. It carries well. You can take it to work the next day. And it is one of those soups that gets better the day after. So this is one of my favorite soups. First things first, let's gather our ingredients. You are going to need olive oil, fire roasted peppers. Now these will give a little bit of smoky depth. And to add to that, we're gonna use some smoked paprika. I love me Aleppo, so this is gonna add a little bit of spice. Chicken broth, you can substitute vegan chicken broth or vegetarian chicken broth. A half cup of white wine. Now this is completely optional. If you don't wanna add it, that's fine. It's only a half cup, I get it. I like the acidity and a little bit of complexity that it brings, and I know I'm gonna drink the bottle, so I'm fine using that. Fresh and dried mint. I'm not a mint person. I don't really care for mint. I don't like it. You need it, and you need both. They are different flavors, and they add so much depth and character to this dish. It's not the same without it. Tomato paste, garlic, two to four garlic cloves, an onion, two red peppers, the all-important bulga, medium grind, and, of course, salt. Now that we've got our ingredients, let's get cooking. So we're making this soup. I'm going to start. I'm going to dice this onion Roasted red pepper, I'm gonna cut them about the same size as the onion, which is uh, about a half inch. Three garlic cloves, minced. We got our ingredients for the soup, so let's get started. First thing first, I am going to add a couple tablespoons to my pot. You can use a larger pot if you want. You can absolutely also double this recipe. Use an appropriately sized pot. Medium heat. And I'm just going to saute the onions and red peppers, get them a little bit soft. Then we're gonna add in our spices and flavorings, get those aromatic. And we stir in the bulgur and the chicken stock, cook it, and you're pretty much done. Now that we got two tablespoons of oil hot, I'm gonna be adding my red peppers and onion. I'm gonna add about three quarters of a teaspoon of kosher salt. Our onions and peppers are softened. Now we are gonna add our aromatics. I'm gonna add my garlic. I'm also going to add here a teaspoon of dried mint, a quarter teaspoon of Aleppo pepper, and half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. They're all going in. Oh my gosh, you just hit with that dry mint aroma. I'm also gonna be adding about a tablespoon of tomato paste. And we're just gonna cook until that's aromatic. You don't want it to burn 30 to 60 seconds. Make sure the tomato paste absolutely gets cooked. You don't want raw tomato paste here. Medium heat. Half a cup of white wine. Scrape up all those brown bits. Get them all up. Now once it's pretty much cooked off, we are going to add our tomatoes and the liquid. This is one of those moments where I should have picked a bigger pot. Here we go. We got our ingredients in there. We're gonna bring it up to a simmer and then we're gonna add the remaining ingredients and then pretty much just let it cook. For our bulgur, I like to rinse the bulgur. You don't have to, I like to. Uh, I think the outside tends to trap some bitter compounds. So I think rinsing it is ideal to eliminate those bitter compounds. I'm gonna be using about three quarters of a cup. You can absolutely use a little bit more or a little bit less. A quick little rinse and you're good. We got a simmer, so I am going to stir in the rest of these ingredients. I'm gonna be using six cups of chicken broth. If you don't feel like using that much, you can use four cups, a quart, which is one of these containers, and then two cups of water. Again, vegan chicken or veg vegetable stock are perfectly appropriate here and can make it a vegan dish. As with a lot of soups, we're gonna bring this up to a simmer, drop it down to low and cover it. We're gonna cook it until the bulgur is pretty tender. It's gonna take about 20 minutes. You also want those diced tomatoes to start to break down. They're not gonna completely break down because they're canned diced tomatoes. 
They won't do it. You want to get them a little softer. All right, our soup has come up to a boil. I'm gonna give it a stir, drop it down to low. I'm gonna cook it for 15 to 20 minutes covered. I'm just gonna mince up a little bit of mint. I like doing this the very last second because mint turns black. I think we're looking pretty good right here. Very soupy, it's brothy. Remember, as it sits, the bulgur will suck up more and more of this liquid, but I like it pretty brothy. I think we're good. Let's plate it up. Now I'm gonna be putting a little bit of fresh mint on top. Don't skip, these are foundational to the dish. Both types of mint, dried and fresh. And I think if you haven't bothered with either of those, that they'll kind of be eye-opening. So here we go. It's boiling hot, but we're gonna give a taste. Mmm. It's delicious. And I know I say that about a lot of things, but this in particular, this is fantastic. First, I was kind of hit with that fresh, that fresh pepper that we put in, that roasted bell pepper or just regular bell pepper that we put in hit with that i got the chunky tomato i got the chunky pepper a little bit of that onion but then the dried mint came through the chicken stock that we used again you can use veg stock here it's kind of carried all the other flavors it got a little bit of that smokiness from those fire roasted tomatoes and then a little bit from that smoked paprika just enough you know maybe go up a little bit from the half teaspoon to three quarters of a teaspoon if you want a little bit more smokiness for me it's just right it really brought everything home and then the background flavor that garlic and that onion really come through they just they carry it so this is like full body and then that fresh mint kind of finishes it off so you start with that dried mint and it finishes with this fresh mint it's delicious it's got texture the bulgur adds that's like a breadiness i don't know how to describe it it's just that wheat flavor it comes through has a little bit of a chew which is nice and then you have the different textures from the tomato and the red bell pepper mm. Mm. that's so good so there you have it we have our turkish tomato bulgur and red pepper soup really hope you enjoyed it uh if you liked what you saw don't forget to follow me on youtube i'm also on twitch twitter instagram and tiktok Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.